Welcome to the Cathedral Treasure Museum of the Diocese of Chur. Our museum comprises two groups of objects, the actual cathedral treasures and the cycle of murals from 1543 featuring images of death. The Chur Cathedral Treasure Museum is open since August 2020 and is intended to be a cultural center within the sacral landscape of the Grisons. The Episcopal Court was already settled in pre-Roman times. During the transition from late antiquity to the early Middle Ages, it became the seat of the bishop. Mi piacerebbe dire che sono tanto fiero, molto fiero del nostro piccolo museo del tesoro della cattedrale. È piccolino, ma prezioso. A first part of the cathedral treasure is dedicated to the liturgy. Liturgy describes form and content of the Christian service. The liturgical instruments are used by the priest and include crosses, altar devices and liturgical vestments. The treasure of relics is exhibited in the second part of the cathedral treasure. Relics are the remains of saints. That's why relics are kept in particularly precious vessels. È prezioso perché è un museo che non è museale, ancora vive, è vivo. Eh, tanti degli oggetti sacri che abbiamo nel museo allo stesso tempo non restano là, ma li adoperiamo ancora oggi nell'attualità per la liturgia in cattedrale. Per esempio la grande croce trionfale del XIII secolo la mettiamo in cattedrale nelle feste più importanti, per esempio a Pasqua, a Natale, quando c'è una ordinazione sacerdotale e altri oggetti sacri anche vengano adoperati ancora oggi. The cycle of dead images from 1543 consists of 25 painted picture fields on a half-timbered wall which show encounters of people with death. These pictures are in the tradition of medieval dead dances. They go back to the woodcut series of, with images of death by Hans Holbein the Younger. Only one single depiction reproduces the copper engraving Night, Dead and Devil by Albrecht Dürer. The Kur cycle is, apart from two exceptions, the oldest surviving cycle in the tradition of dead dances in Switzerland. Free flyers describing the objects are available in five languages – German, English, Italian, French and Romance. Romance is a minority language in Switzerland with only 30,000 native speakers. The audio guide, also in five languages, is easy to understand and explains even difficult facts in a simple language. A leaflet and individual cards help families and children discover the museum. Individual guided tours for groups of adults, young people or children can be booked as well. The museum's shop sells postcards, devotional objects, wine from the Episcopal wine yards and publications. Comunque il museo, il tesoro della cattedrale, eh, non è soltanto pensato per i cristiani, per i credenti, ma è aperto a tutte le persone. We are looking forward to your visit, because a tour through the Cathedral Treasure Museum provides a fascinating insight into almost 1,600 years of ecclesiastical cultural history.